I mean, it's a once in a lifetime experience, like I said before the game. Death Valley is an amazing place to come play. And I mean, it's one of the toughest venues to play in. I mean, there's, there's times out there where I couldn't hear myself think because it was that loud. So, I mean, this is definitely, it, it was an awesome thing to experience. So you had a notion of what you're getting into, but did it exceed what you had thought? I mean, I had thought about it, but I wasn't really sure. So I really didn't come in with any preconceived expectations of how loud it was going to be. I just, I mean, you got to take it all in. You got to, as the game went on, it got easier and easier. So it's one thing that you learn from and you carry over to your next experience. AJ, not your best night offensively, obviously, but you know, considering you guys at the halftime lead, you held them to 16, what does this do for the confidence your team moving in November? Um, I mean, our, our confidence, our confidence is high. We would have liked to win this game because, as you said, we did have the lead at halftime. But, I mean, our offense let, let us down. I mean, we, we just didn't get the job done today. We, we have to make more big plays. We got to do, we got to be smarter with the football. I mean, there's a handful of mistakes, mostly mine, that, that cost us this game. What did Clemson do up front to, to really challenge you there? I mean, they were just themselves. They just, they just brought pressure and they played their game. They, they didn't care what we did because they, they weren't interested in it. They were man up. And we're gonna blitz till we're gonna blitz the young quarterback until he makes a mistake. And tonight I made mistakes. You just said you have to learn from this. What, what do you take away from this? You know, what do you learn from a game like this? I mean, you just have to. <laughs> there's a lot of things that you can learn. Um, I mean, I, as you see, we love losing 16 to six in a game that at halftime was six three in our favor. Coming out at half to halftime, being smarter with the ball. I mean, uh, interception in the first half, fumble right before halftime, and then throwing an interception to which was one of the greatest plays that I've ever seen. I mean, going up one-handed and just snagging it. I mean, those are things that you just, you, you can't prepare for, but you have to you have to, you have to think about them beforehand because seeing him, you gotta put the ball a little bit higher so that way it's just out of his reach so it drops over and maybe we have another big play. So, I mean, those those are all things that you have to take away from this. I feel like you earned some respect down here as, as a team. Um, I mean, as, as a team, we definitely, defense played great today. I mean, offense let them down. We we did not come out and perform the way that we are capable of, and we, we have to get to that point where we're flowing on all cylinders. But uh, defense definitely came out tonight, and they earned respect because they they were incredible to watch. Having was it four turnovers? We you have four turnovers, you should not lose. And uh, we on the offense, we just gonna, we didn't get the ball, we didn't get the job done. Anything else, Richard? How hard is it to approach the defense after a game like that? Just the guys in the defensive unit. I can't look them in the eyes. I mean, knowing that you your job is to get points on the board, and knowing that you didn't get your job done, and seeing how they played, you just you, you have no words. You you can't you can't look them in the eye and say I'm sorry because at the end of the day, you have one job, and if you don't get that done, I mean, what are you really doing? Is that kind of walking off the field with those guys? Or I mean, through, through the course of the game, when we, we had chances to score and we didn't, or when we had chances to make big plays and we didn't, it's just like on the sideline, you're just like, yeah, they come up to you and they're like, all right, we have confidence in you, let's go, let's get it done. And then you're not getting it done, but yet they're still performing and they're still saying it. I mean, it just, it's through the entire course of the game. It's after the game, walking to the locker room, it's in the locker room. It'll be on the bus, the bus ride to the plane and the plane ride home. I mean, it's just going to be one thing that you have to swallow that it hurts. You want to take the, uh, the touchdown pass? Touchdown, which one? Uh, the one that they threw to um, the tight end. Well, you know, I, I, my eyes weren't, you know, on my man. You know, just a concentration thing, really. Uh, you know, next time I just get, get my eyes on and make that play. Cam, it's got to be a frustrating one. You, you leave it all out there on the field defensively. You get a lot of turnovers and still can't quite punch it in. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, what, what was the mood like after the game? You know, it was just you know, a frustrating loss like this. Like you said, it's just frustrating, you know, frustrating. Um, Defensively, we can execute more, like I said, on that pass. You know, I get my eyes on them, focus more. Um, so, you know, like we got to wipe this one away, man. You know, uh, four more games, got to get bowl eligible. So that's the goal right now. You played so well against Wake as a defense last week. Tonight, yeah, I mean, you held them really in check until, uh, oh, 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 dear. Yeah. Until the, uh, the end of the game there. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, does it feel like your unit is getting into a group and maybe you can lift the offense up a little bit? Uh, most definitely. You know, we, we got full – full faith in our offense. You know, they're doing a good job. We played good defense today, man. Um, so we got 100% faith in our offense, what AJ's going to do in our offensive line. So, uh, like I said, go back to the drawing board and get ready for NC State, man. Win, win these next couple games so we can go to a bowl.
yeah, uh, you know, not that far. So I got some fans waiting for me right now. But it was nice to see them in the stands, and uh, we played hard. So, yeah, proud of that. Uh, Clemson did pretty well in the running game in the second half. Was that just you guys getting a little tired, or what? Was um, you know, they run that, that hurry up offense. So, um, you know, stopping them, you know, it made it a little bit harder. But other than that, um, you know, we fought hard, man. So, uh, wipe this one. Like I said, go to drawing boards, get both eligible. I know if you um, led the team with ten tackles. I think that should had nine. Um, how do you think you guys did as a linebacking unit today? Uh, we did okay. You know, like they said on that pass, man, I wish I could take that one back, you know. But uh, other than that, you know, go back to the draw board, focus on what we have to focus on, and that should be sharp, man, in our preparation. So. AJ said that it's tough for um, him to look the defense in the eye. How do you feel towards your offense right now? It's the same thing. You know, uh, let up a touchdown. You know, we could have we could have kept them. Uh, it's a fewer points, so it's hard to look my own, you know, the own, own defense in the eye and the, the whole team. So, uh, we, you know, like I said, we we'll go back to the draw boards, focus on what we have to do, and um, just complete focus so we can win these couple next couple games. What's it like to play in an atmosphere like this? Uh, it was pretty awesome, you know. It was pretty awesome uh, compared to here in Florida State. It's pretty awesome. So, um, you know, good luck to this team coming up. This is a good team, man. So, uh, good luck to them.